Okay, so since we last spoke to you, we, we signed Yemi, uh, a striker from uh, Eastleigh, so uh, a bit of experience uh, and a good addition. Yeah, I think so. He's um, he's someone I've known for a long time, and, and I, think I played against him many years ago, and he's... It's just someone that had something different to us. I, obviously, I, I remember playing against Maystone. I think I think it was three years ago in the FA Trophy. I think um, when I was at uh, Eastleigh, and uh, as soon as I came down there, I was like, "Oh, looks like a good setup." And obviously, you've come a long way since then. We, um, I felt at times in the final third, we've you struggled to stretch teams sometimes. He's, he's got pace. He's got good movement. And like you say, he's got experience for a very young side. He knows the league, he knows sort of the leagues above and, and he's someone that I feel will come in and add to the side and give us another option, uh, another option to play uh, different formations as well, which is always good to have. Um, yeah, obviously I've played quite a few games in the conference, um, know what it's about. Uh, obviously no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> But yeah, a bit, uh, as, uh, to be fair, that's what the gaffer said, you know, to come in and like give the lads a bit of experience. Because obviously we've got quite a young bunch. And, um, you know, this is my, mix, my experience, welcome. Like, so if I can do that as well as get, get a few goals, uh, I'd be more than happy. So is that the sort of how you see him sort of being someone who's gonna, not afraid to run in behind and, and stretch the defence? Yeah, definitely, he gives you that option. Um, so he's got good movement. Um, so yeah, it's just different to what we got. Yeah, that's my that's always been my game running behind. Obviously, I'm still quite quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's uh, that's that's what I've uh, I've been known to do and what I've been known for. So if I can do that here with the right service, then then I'll, that'd be great. Yeah. I think as a manager, you always look at this point as bringing in sort of people similar to what you've got. So if we can bring in something, it's something different. Um, and Yemi's Yemi is that. Um, then then it's good. Uh, you know, I work from the minute one to minute 95. You know, I'll, I'll give my all, um, try and score goals, try and settle goals, and uh, give the opposition uh, a tough time, and uh, hopefully get us m more wins than loses. Uh, obviously, we're all disappointed after the guys who result one. You know, we should have seen off before half time. Um, how hard is it for you, uh, as the manager, to sort of? balance the criticism of the team so, um, and obviously your disappointment uh, but to a point where you're not obviously damaging their creativity and positivity um, I think I'm all, I've always been a manager who's quite honest I'll come out straight away and I'll do my interviews and I'll say what I feel at the time and, um, and I still stick by that I think second half the performance wasn't good enough um, and, and I think some people haven't been haven't been performing in the last few and that's that's me, and I'll say it, and the players know that, and I'll talk to them individually as well. And I think Bromley, we, we didn't turn up, and it was a, a bad day at the office, and I think you can accept them maybe once or twice a season, but Saturday I thought we'd done more than enough to win the game before half-time, really, and it's just disappointing that we didn't put the, the chances away. Um, and you know, I was explaining to people that weren't at the game to, to have a goal disallowed and two one-on-one saved, and I've hit the crossbar, Fish has missed one from three or four yards out, so we've had so many opportunities to, to actually um, kill the game off before half-time, but it didn't happen, and then we, we warned the players at half-time, it's one of them games that had written all over it that if we don't get an early goal and we don't try and you know just get ahead, then it looked like we could potentially you know, get sucker punched in the end and get a draw or, or actually lose the game, and it was lucky that we didn't lose it in the end. So, um, yeah, I mean, looking back at the game, first half, like you say, for 45 minutes, we should have been outside. Um, should have been comfortable. It, it wasn't a bad performance, but it's just what disappoints me is, is how we sort of dropped off second half. And then, um, as I say, certain players are in the team to do certain things, and if they're not doing it, then obviously they're not doing their job. And so, you, at times, you have to let them know. Um, and there's times you have to sort of tell them and be honest with that, and there's other times where you have to kind of make out they're doing really well, and perhaps they're not, and try and build them up a bit. So, um, yeah, that, as much as I criticise them, I've done the last couple of weeks. They've had plenty of plays off me, so uh, I'm sure they get yeah. a fair balance. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's so much morale. It's, it's just the, it's the confidence in front of goal. And we've done loads of work on Tuesday, um, as well as tonight. We've got plans, you know, looking at getting balls in the box and finishing, and uh, movement in the final third. And you know, on top of that, we've got to help out potentially finishing set pieces as well. When when us boys at the back go up for set pieces and trying to trying to capitalise and scoring a few more there as well. So it's not just you know, the front men that that we need to work on, it's collectively really.
Has it helped having the two training sessions this week, meaning you could, like you say, go around and individually talk to them as well as obviously work on what you felt lacked uh, over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, it always helps. I mean, Tuesday was, was plenty of finishing. We had uh, lock in action not training, so it's hard to, to do shape work and things like that if you haven't got people training. But um, When you have disappointing results or performance, it's always nice to have two training sessions um, in the week. And it was beneficial on Tuesday, and we've got a few things planned tonight, so hopefully we'll go through them. and build the confidence back in, in terms of uh, in front of goal and, and go from there? On, uh, tonight we'll have everyone available, which, which helps, but Tuesday was plenty of crossing, finishing, um, which I think we need, short and sharp, get a bit of a blow on, a bit of fitness work, and then um, tonight we can sort of concentrate a bit more on, on Saturday. Uh, so just moving on to, obviously we have Torquay on Saturday, so yeah. uh, a good chance for maybe you to get on and really announce yourself. Well, I hope I start <laughs> instead of getting on. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah, of course, um, you know, obviously, Torquay's not going to be easy. No no games are easy in this league. Um, I've played at Torquay quite a few times. They're a good fan base, you know, a good crowd. And um, it's not going to be easy, but obviously, if we can go there and do well, better, better than what we did here on Saturday, then uh, I think we'll, 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 we'll give Torquay a good go, yeah, a good test. What are the sort of travel uh, plans for that? Coach, um, so we'll leave here uh, Saturday morning. Obviously, we did a long one the other week to uh, North Ferriby. Um, no, it's, it's, it's been really good. The club have been really professional with regards to travelling on the train and, and with our first class seats as well. So, um, the actual organisation of it has been fantastic so far. So, there's been no complaints irrelevant of the performances and the scores. So, it'll be the same on Saturday and we'll be prepared. and and hopefully get the three points, it makes the journey back a lot easier. So it's not a problem, we've done it a few times, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're looking forward to it. It's a nice ground to go to, again, it's another new ground for a lot of the boys, um, and it's one we can look forward to. Uh, they're aside having a bit of a mixed start, um, but I've, I've sort of watched their last two games, uh, and they've got players that are very dangerous. Had most teams have at this level, as we saw with guys this Saturday, they're a team that's struggling, but still had people in key areas that cause you problems, and I'm sure Torquay have got that. Um, but we go there, We'll go there, and the boys are desperate to get another three points on the table, so we'll go there. Um, our way form's been good, and hopefully we can continue that. But also on the flip side of that, obviously the long journey gives you a good uh, opportunity to, to bond with the, the rest of the squad and get to know new players as That's well. That's right, yeah, we just spoke there. We're potentially going up the night before to, to Barrow, so again, that would be a, a good opportunity to get the boys together and go through a little bit more set pieces and, and maybe looking at them a little bit more on the Friday night. Um, before the game on Saturday, so no, it's, it's always positive. So what response are you actually looking from the boys? Is there anything specifically that you feel really has to change? Or is it just plugging away and you know, though, if those chances went in, we wouldn't be having this conversation? No, I just, what needs to change, we need to score four and five goals every game and then it'd be a lot more comfortable Saturday, but um, it's, it's a tough league. I think just a little bit more of a cutting edge in front of goal, really. And as I said before, it's not just about the front boys, it's about collectively as a team, you know, if we get the opportunities. And that's what's happened. I've answered a few questions this week in terms of what's the difference between the, the league below and, and this level. And it really has been the cutting edge, you know, up top. And you look at the Wrexham game, we've had two two shots on target against us and they've scored two goals. And I think it's happened quite a lot this year. You know, it's, it is, it's, uh, it's a cutthroat league and when you create them opportunities, you've got to take them. So hopefully, on Saturday as and when they come, we're a little bit more confident, we can put them away and kill the game off. I keep having to remind myself that we are new to it. Um, we are only 11, 12 games in. Um, lads are going to have dips and, and you have to remind yourself. But I think I'm ambitious, the players are ambitious. Nicky, Coyley, um, everyone at the club's ambition are used to winning games and, and I think sometimes you, you forget that and maybe that's that's what we've got to get ahead around. But yeah, certainly Saturday for, for me, we need to be better in the final third. If we can be that, then um, I'm sure if we perform like we did for the first 45 and take our chances, we'll, uh, we'll win more games than we lose.